there's a lot of material online available for Java. Uh, there's many, 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 many resources available uh, for someone to dig into the detail of uh, Java, Java programming, uh, uh, how to do Java programming, system building around Java programming in all facets of Java, step A through Z, plus anything beyond or before that is exist everywhere okay and that's that's actually one of the um, the benefits of uh, something like Java from a programming perspective because it's it's widely available and known uh, globally and and many 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 people are capable and professional and available to do Java programming um, I was thinking how could I, I mean that's not much I can sum up in a few minutes about Java uh, but again this this hopefully this snippet of me talking about Java a little bit will encourage uh, someone who's maybe interested uh, in approaching programming and specifically Java programming um, I have done some, I've done quite a bit of Java programming throughout my lifetime uh, and career, you can say. Um, I started Java, actually when I was in, I did go to school, uh, uh, college, um, had a bumpy ride and, and finally I did graduate ultimately, but uh, Java had just come out. Uh, right after around the time that I got out of school so that was in the 90s I um, didn't have a real strong understanding of not just Java of object-oriented programming what that really meant object programming and objects and you know, I, I found myself kind of frustrated with the idea that, uh, first, I, I didn't, when it came down to like hardcore programming, um, just like using all the like fancy bits and bit shifting and all those types of things yeah, like I was learning in school um, in pursuit of a degree. I, you know, I didn't, it, it wasn't easy for me to understand and learn those things. So when it came down to object-oriented programming and thinking about what it means to be a class or an object and, and, and you know, even though I had instruction, classroom instruction and tests on it, I, I really didn't really get it. And why am I saying that now in the context of Java? Uh, it actually took me on my own to come up with a white, like use a whiteboard, uh, a, a place where I could write down using a marker and, and things and erase white, uh, eraser whiteboard, I guess that's the name of it. I was in my apartment at the time and I, I just said, you know, I want to get this. I want to understand what a class is. I want to understand what these things are. And I, I drew out the concepts independently on my own. And I was determined to really understand it. Now, this is after I had already gone through the classroom setting. I had a, I got a degree. Uh, and I, so I had a lot of theory. I still didn't understand the basic concepts of uh, um, class structure, inheritance, and how you can write one class and then another class can take on the properties of that class and what that really means and what's a really class. So anyway, uh, and then in the context of, of me trying to figure that out, I started to get it from a, from a basic fundamental perspective of a class defining uh, like the characteristics of data that I wanted to put together, for example, like a, uh, you know, like a uh, 
anything, an item that has proper, like that has characteristics, like a box. A box has a color, a box has a size, a box has um, uh, dimensions, a box has how much it can hold. And all. So I started using my own examples. I started realizing, wait, the class just helps me to des describe uh, things and then the object uh, I learned is when I using my programming language like Java the object just uh, is when I tell the program the computer uh, take that class that I've described and start it up and make it be running uh, what from the computer's perspective make it live like and, and make it so that uh, I can actually interact with it with that particular uh, thing that's living at that time. I can set a color of the box or I can, I can move, change the dimensions and things like that. So when I got those couple concepts down, um, then thinking through like inheritance, uh, which that's a huge topic and polymorphism and all those big words. But the short thing is, is, is uh, getting it to to not just have to create many classes over and over again with the same uh, characteristics I could really create one base box which all boxes have some similar things and then have other boxes which ex that which kind of like are relatives to that original box they, there are descendants of it, you can call it, or with, you know, they, they take on the same properties, but maybe there's some small things. Maybe the, they have a, a label on it instead of just a base box with no label and things like that. And that's where that inheritance and all that comes from. All that you can look up online and, and look at the detail. But in the form of Java, what I've, uh, what I've found is... Java basically came in and a lot of the basic concepts to get uh, a computer to want to do things, there's development kits, there's like really kits that have already been pre-built um, for people doing Java development by other developers of all the fundamental thing, tools that you're going to need, a toolkit, a software development kit that has all the things already in there and then you just have to write a little bit more on top of it specific to your programming needs and uh, Java's made it in a way where you know once I write it uh, that program I can actually move that program around into different computers in an easy way and, and you know before in the programming languages prior to Java a lot of times it was like you know I had to write a program and, and when I package it get ready to run it it has to be specific to that particular PC that particular server or that particular device because of the underlying machine talking and codes and stuff like that. But Java made it so they they kind of said, hey, you know, we will we'll give you a, a, a virtual kind of a machine and you can compile it and package your stuff, your program, and you can take that program and, and you can put it into what we, we're going to give you a virtual machine box to put it in on the box, meaning not really a literal box, but we're going to give you something that you can run that program in and run it on any machine. As long as you have our virtual machine sitting on that other box, you can run that same program. That's where you get write once, run anywhere. So that has held true for decades and decades so far with Java. It's still there. And um, there's many more things I could say about Java, uh, but definitely I encourage anyone who's interested in pursuit of uh, the Java programming language as an object-oriented language. It's, it's, it's used in many, many, many venues 
uh, in industries today, it is uh, a de facto object-oriented language that's accessible and reachable by many people and developers, so that makes it uh, very practical in implementation, and it makes it very appealing for co for companies uh, to to you know, look for um, people, resources that have that skill. I will say one last thing is I did have a kind of a hiatus, and this is the tricky part about J Java, is I was programming in what's more like the core Java and servlets and all those types of things uh, early on and then I took a hiatus where I was just doing basic core Java but I didn't keep up with it after for years even though I knew Java there were so many more toolkits and things that were added into the base toolkits there was more sophisticated ways of doing things and higher level technology and I really had to go back to school uh, when I approached it again because a lot of the things that we were building by hand or I was building by hand uh, to make work, people had already built that and added that into the toolkits and made it just so much easier for many other things to be built. All right, that's all I want to say about Java for now. Uh, I just want to let you know you can do it. If it's frustrating, uh, if you're having trouble trying to get the concepts, um, go for it. Keep, there's many resources to go through. And just, just remember that uh, once you get those basic concepts, classes and objects and, and that virtual machine, you'll have all those basics you need to go off and build the, the most amazing program you can build.